SMUD IS TAKING NEW STEPS TO PROVIDE A CLEANER AND MORE RELIABLE ELECTRIC SUPPLY. IT COMES JUST WEEKS AFTER THE STATE CAME CLOSE TO SUFFERING ROLLING BLACKOUTS. TONIGHT WE'RE GETTING ANSWERS ON HOW SMUD PLANS ON USING NEW TECHNOLOGY TO STORE POWER FOR WHEN CUSTOMERS NEED IT MOST. This summer, California experienced several flex alert days and the threat of rolling blackouts when power supplies dipped dangerously low. Resources across the West were very, very tight. The most critical time of day is often just after sunset, when solar power is reduced, but air conditioner usage remains high. The sun goes down. And then we have to figure out a way to keep the system fully energized. Now, SMUD plans on installing large banks of batteries that can help provide more power during peak demand. During the day, we plan to charge them when the sun is available and, and solar is abundant. And then when the sun goes down, we plan to discharge them. The utility is working with Oregon based company ESS to manufacture the batteries, which will be built here in Sacramento. That creates jobs locally. Uh, and helps drive economic development in the Sacramento region. So just how much power can these batteries supply? We expect this partnership to deliver up to about 200 megawatts. That's more than Folsom Dam produces and enough to power about 60,000 homes. Each battery is housed in a shipping container which can be installed across the region, providing a backup power source for critical sites. We have customers that will deploy specific batteries adjacent to things like hospitals, police stations, emergency facilities, where you really want to make sure there's reliability. SMUD says the ability to store so much solar and wind power will ultimately help them reach their goal of offering 100% clean energy by 2030. We expect these batteries to really be a a key to us getting to zero carbon. Well, the initial cost is expected to be about $18 million, and SMUD will also take a financial stake in the company, which could generate profits in the future.